an excerpt narration from the book Glow, God's Light Outspoken Through the Words of Venerable Aloysius Schwartz, A Father's Note. Prayer When you pray, you never pray alone. The devil comes. He is always there trying to interfere with your prayer, as he did the Garden of Gethsemane with Jesus, trying to give you distractions. And then the angel comes. There is always the devil and the angel in prayer. You must reject the temptation of the devil and receive the help of your angel when you pray. St. Ignatius of Loyola said, To think worldly thoughts requires no effort, no struggle. It is like turning on a television and simply watching. No effort, very easy. But he said, after thinking worldly thoughts, our minds are fatigued and heavy and depressed. But to think thoughts of God requires effort struggle and sacrifice but after thinking holy thoughts thoughts of god our minds are restful calm serene and full of joy and peace prayer is holy thinking prayer is the lifting of our minds and hearts to god to lift your hearts and offer your hearts to god means simply to look at god with love you learn to pray by praying. You learn to do by doing. At first, it is difficult, but little by little, we develop the habit. We become men of prayer. We learn to love prayer. We find our joy, our delight, and our happiness in prayer. If you wish to become a champion basketball player, you must learn many skills. You must learn to shoot to pass and to block but first of all you must learn to run this is the most fundamental skill to become like jesus to become a saint to become a champion of god you must learn many skills but first of all you must learn to pray this is the most fundamental of all another way of describing prayer is Prayer is a loving conversation between friends. Heart speaks to heart. In prayer, my heart speaks with love to the heart of my friend, Jesus. In prayer, the heart of Jesus speaks with love to my heart. It is this loving conversation with my friend, Jesus. Who is the friend for whom Jesus lays down his life? It is I. If I were the only one on earth, Jesus loves me, only me, just me so much. He would come down to earth and become man and shed his blood and offer his life for me. In this world, a true friend is the greatest treasure, but a true friend is very rare someone to whom you can talk and open your heart speak and converse and there is a meeting of minds union of hearts oneness of wills and a mutual understanding we have such a friend jesus i can go to my friend jesus anytime day and night in prayer especially by visiting the chapel adoring the Eucharist. This is the best way to practice this loving conversation with my friend Jesus. This is the ultimate object of prayer. Without words, without thoughts, simply looking at Jesus with love and Jesus looking at you with love and this union of hearts, oneness of wheels, minds and souls. Love is the object of prayer. Remember this, love is the goal of our prayer. Love is the purpose of our prayer. Love is in the will, not in feelings or in the emotions. It is in the will. Jesus says clearly, If you love me, 
keep my commandments. If you do what I command you to do, you are my friends. If I love Jesus, I give him my will. I become his servant, his slave, not only his friend. If I love Jesus, I wish always to please Jesus, and I wish to do nothing to displease him. By prayer, in prayer, and through prayer, we love God, we honor Him, we adore Him with all our minds, our will, our heart, our strength. And so, the first and the greatest commandment which Jesus teaches is to pray. Prayer is for our own benefit. In prayer, by prayer, and through prayer, we obtain all the gifts, graces, and blessings of God. We need His gifts, graces, and blessings to lead a good life and to avoid evil, to save our souls, to obtain eternal salvation. Our loving Father in heaven wishes to give more than we wish to receive. He wishes to give abundantly more precious gifts than we desire or seek or more than we can even think of or imagine. But our loving Father in heaven will not force us to receive His gifts. He does not oblige us to receive His blessings. He is a humble God, so we must ask for His blessings. We must seek for His gifts. We must show that we truly desire His grace, and we do this by prayer.